Nick Davis um, is a very important character in the, in the whole WikiLeaks story. He's uh, one of the main principal uh, uh, investigative journalists uh, at The Guardian, and um, the first guy who really approached uh, Julian had a, an interest in WikiLeaks previous to the release of the, the logs. Um, and is a very outspoken character in his, in his own right, has read, uh, written, written many books um, on the subject of, of journalism, and uh, um, uh, he's uh, very militant in his own right. Um, and, uh, yeah, he was, he, he was the, the first guy to encourage the, the New York Times and the Spiegel to get involved and, and really implemented the whole thing alongside some of his colleagues at The Guardian. He's a very, very interesting man. There's no, no uh, accident that he's, he's, he's risen to prominence so quickly. The man is a very... I, I can't think of anyone better to be playing Julian right now. And when this film was announced, everyone was obviously very interested in who would be playing Julian because he's such a complex character. We nearly needed a superb actor and a superb intellect, I think, to play uh, Julian. And I think we have that with Benedict. He's quite one of the greatest, nicest directors I've ever worked with. He's just, he's very, very, very relaxed, very good humoured, gives great notes. Um, I'd work for him at the drop of a hat. I mean, he's, again, he's, he's, he really is a genuinely, a thoroughly nice man, and everyone on the set says so. Whoever you talk to on set, everyone's very impressed by him. Since we are losing the great investigative journalists uh, in the mainstream press, then it is essential that we have something like WikiLeaks. And I hope that we'll, we will continue to, if not WikiLeaks itself, that that will be just the, the prototype for many more to come. But I think it's, it's obviously is the way ahead. And uh, obviously that's going to worry a lot of people, but it's a new world.